I'm James Barrelet. I'm the artistic director and the cellist of the Whittington International Chamber Music Festival. We've just completed six days of chamber music concerts featuring the composer Felix Mendelssohn in beautiful St. John Baptist Church in Whittington in Shropshire. Just before the concerts, the musicians got to enjoy a four-day rehearsal retreat in a beautiful old manor house in a Welsh border valley and enjoying some wonderful food cooked by our very dear friends and poets, Charlotte and Dylan. It's so nice for us to get out of the big cities and find ourselves in a more natural environment. It's helped the creativity and the productivity and I think has helped us um, create better music. So we've had quite a bit of feedback since the end of the festival, which was only yesterday. Um, I think my favourite kind is the kind that comes from um, a husband whose wife dragged him along to the concert rather unwillingly. And there was one chap who said after the concert that, that the whole experience enabled him to discover a part of himself that he never knew existed. Um, what better feedback can you hope for than that? I've also really loved some of the feedback we've had from the uh, talented young local musicians who joined the professional musicians on the stage. Um, they've gone away buzzing with um, a good deal more confidence, not just in their musical ability, but in general. Um, I think this is another way that music could be vitally important in nurturing our young children to become confident, sociable people. Also ich bin Bogdan und ähm, komme aus Belgrad ursprünglich, wohne seit drei Jahren in Wien und ähm, spiele die Geige. Früher war ich Chefdirigent von, vom Hühner Streichorchester in Belgrad und dann jetzt nicht mehr. Das Huhn hat sich aufgeregt, weil jemand ähm, ihr Ei gestohlen hat. Und ähm, das war ihr Lieblingsei. It's so nice to be back in Whittington for the third year at the festival, which is really starting to thrive. It's such a beautiful, well, not only a beautiful place, a beautiful venue to focus on chamber music, everything's done for us, the food is, is brilliant, the people are so welcoming and we can really just uh, sit down and concentrate together on some amazing music. And it's all really thanks to James's putting together all of this. Uh, he's done truly a marvellous job in every aspect of it, not only the programming but also the choices of people because we all somehow know each other but it's also nice to get to know each other even more uh, intimately through this wonderful music so 
and chemistries are working really well this time and every time I guess when New James is doing this so I'm really 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 happy that I came Behind this festival there's a little committee which has got itself together from the local community um, with people who have been headhunted for their various skills and their task is to ensure that we provide here a wonderful venue, uh, obviously for the audience, but perhaps most particularly for musicians from across the world, so that they can come and enjoy themselves, rehearse together, and give us the best possible performances uh, that you'll find anywhere. And people have learned to recognize that are coming from far afield. Ganz ehrlich gesagt, ich glaube, dass für jeden, der hier teilnimmt am Festival, zumindest ein, zwei Werke etwas wirklich Neues sind. Und das hat dann schon wirklich einen tieferen Wert, dass man in die Materie so einsteigt und diese Möglichkeit auch als Musiker bekommt. Äh, warum spielt man irgendwie, weiß ich nicht, Dedo Streichquartett und das erste Trio und kennt irgendwie die italienische Symphonie, aber warum kommt man nicht von selbst auf die Idee, äh, mal irgendwie die Archive zu gehen und zu sagen, was ist da eigentlich alles noch? Ähm, und umso besser ist es, dass da als Möglichkeit die Hand gereicht wird, zu sagen, hier, das gibt's jetzt alles und ihr seid dabei und könnt das gemeinsam entdecken. So Casper saved the church piano. It gets out of tune quite quickly and gets in the way of putting the hymn numbers up, which is quite awkward. So the church council had agreed that the piano should go until Casper said to us, no, you can't let this piano go. And so we had a rethink and we decided it did have a place here and we're glad we did. We use it actually more than we used to for, for school worship. And we think fondly of Casper every year as he comes back and think how he saved our piano for us. So having Sheila Heyman at the festival um, to give a talk and to show her film added a whole other dimension to the festival. It was quite special to have a, a direct descendant of Mendelssohn around, somebody so well informed. Um, and it was uh, absolutely eye-opening and enthralling to talk to her and learn more about the man and his relationship with those around him and how his reputation has uh, suffered because of politics. I met Simon Callaghan um, who organises the concerts at Conway Hall in London and who is playing the piano in the trio here. And it was he who originally suggested that I might come up here. So I've just had one night of paradise in this wonderful place where the sun is shining and the birds are singing and there's fantastic music all around me. So tomorrow is a nice concert because uh, I get to play with my mother again, a piece that we used to play together when I was about 10, Mendelssohn's Song Without Words. Yeah, it's a real kind of nostalgic treat for me to be playing with uh, playing with Mummy again, and I'm sure she'll really like it herself, hopefully. So um, it's a little bit of nostalgia for me tomorrow.
just like to give a heartfelt thanks to our sponsors without which this festival could not take place. Um, there are many to thank, you'll find them in the credits, um, and especially the Arts Council of England who provides the bulk of our funding. Um, thank you very much. Thank you.